Well, today's forecast is perfect for solar cooking. 27 First News reporter Alex George joins us live in the studio now to explain how two women in the Mahoning Valley are using the power of the sun to make dinner. Alex? <laughs> Dan, at 5 o'clock, I introduce you to two women who call themselves the Solar Sisters. They're hoping to share their passion for solar cooking with not only va the Valley, but the rest of the world. Mary Buchenek and Jennifer Gasser are the Solar Sisters. You can cook, you know, vegetables, grains, meats, um, soups, stews. They use a variety of different solar ovens to make just about anything. Your fuel is the sun, and you concentrate sunlight into a cooking space. But Northeast Ohio isn't always the most ideal place for solar cooking. We often, you know, say to ourselves, you know, why are we doing this in Ohio with like something like 60% of the days are cloudy. Their goal is to use solar cooking as an educational tool uh, for the valley. Blast. We've got areas of the country right now that that literally have no no power and maybe in that situation for for days if not weeks. So that, uh, this is an option. This is an option for heating water. They've also turned their passion into a nonprofit organization, and they are hoping to share solar cooking with areas that could realistically use it in their everyday lives. In other parts of the world where they're sun rich, um, the applications are, you know, economic empowerment. Um, there are health issues related to cooking over open fires. They've been to Haiti once and they have plans to go back this November. There they'll spend time showing people how to craft their own solar ovens and how to use them. It's a new concept, so it's not going to happen overnight. It takes time for something like this to take, take root. Mary says once you know how to properly use a solar oven, it's pretty easy to do. A few of their fa favorite things to make are carrots and applesauce, but you can make just about anything. They've been wo working with local schools and other organizations doing demonstrations. To find out more about their nonprofit, you can head to our website, WKBN.com. Live in the studio, Alex George, First News This Morning.